Tiershuyun guests at her launch and supporters who have you know given so generously to make this book possible. Um, I'm I apologize to Shuyun on Monday earlier this week uh, that I can't be at this launch because of a last minute medical uh, procedure that I had to do. So when I first apologized to her, she had two responses. Uh, the first thing she told me was I had, that she had actually dreamt about this. Uh, and in the dream, I didn't turn up for the event. Uh, then about eight hours later, she called me and she said, I have a plan. Uh, I'm going to send my friend down and she's going to take a video of you. Um, you know, both these responses of her capture for me what I think is also Shi Yun's approach to mark making. Uh, two words, intuition, clearly she dreamt about it, um, but also control. And if I can say something, there is always that sense of boldness, dynamism, kind of fluidity in Shirin's strokes, and you can see it in her, in, in her brush strokes. Um, and sometimes even with uh, a work like Conversation with Trees, where she attached the uh, brush to a tree branch, and so she collaborated with the tree making it. It can even seem accidental, uh, and yet the images are always so well balanced. So you always get a sense of that intuition and that spontaneity behind it. But I know that nothing spontaneous comes out without planning. The more spontaneous or fluid or intuitive something feels, it comes with a great amount of thought, planning and control. And I think you can also see that in Shuyun's work right from the very start. I think in 03 she had a work that is called Log uh, 103, where for two years it's a visual diary of uh, her life executed in, in ink. And it's that commitment to plan and that commitment and to process and the integrity of the process uh, which I think also characterizes her work. So you have these kind of two aspects of it that constantly attention. I think that's also what's very beautiful about, about it. Um, here at Esplanade, we've had the privilege of working with Shu Yun on several occasions. Uh, one of those occasions was obviously Conversations with Trees, which eventually was shown at the Esplanade uh, Gentella. And the other is, is also something very recent. Now we're having an exhibition in the in the ethnic tunnel of 38 artists, uh, and they are responding to an ATCM by ATCM uh, painting. And I took the chance because of this to ask some of my visual arts colleagues, the, the people who curate and plan these shows. I said, "What's your experience like working with Xu Yun?" Because uh, my words were intuition and control. And you know, in my conversations with them, they gave me two other words. Uh, one is play. And, you know, that was almost like the first word that came up when, when we were talking about Xu Yun's work and her work at Esplanade. There was always that sense of exploration, um, of experimentation. And we all know that ink has a very long history and often uh, associated with, you know, histories and traditions of practice. Uh, but I think Xu Yun has really taken that form and found quite a lot of joy in, in just reinventing, um, how, how you make marks with ink. And the other word that came up a lot was generous. Actually, it was a, a, maybe a more Chinese word, which is um, zi sua. You know, at, for me, I, I interpret it as generous. Uh, but that's something my colleague said. You, you can't collaborate if you're not generous because you're always having to think about working with somebody else. And I, when they said that to me, it made me recall one incident, which is actually, I know Shu Yun from 10 years ago, uh, when I was writing something about independent art spaces in Singapore, and I heard about Instinct, uh, and how this a single artist is actually managing a space that supports other artists. Uh, I didn't know Shu Yun, so I just dropped her an email and said, can I meet, can I talk to you? And almost immediately she said yes, and she, she gave me a good few hours of her time talking to me about what Instinct does. And that memory has stuck. And so when my colleague said the other word that describes what it's like working with Shu Yun, you know, collaboratively, and that word is kind of zi shuang or generous, I, I immediately could associate with that. And I think it's the same response she gave when we asked if she could contribute her work to Esplanade's fundraising exhibition at the tunnel. But without hesitation, she said yes. And, you know, so when 
um, she approached Esplanade to say, could either Benson or myself, you know, come and help her in this launch and just say something. I think we can only reciprocate by saying yes immediately because that's the spirit of this artist here. Uh, so it is an absolute privilege of Esplanade to have been part of Shuyun's journey and also an absolute privilege for us to really congratulate her on the launch of you know, this work, this book that has been documenting you know, her, her many playful explorations, her many generous collaborations uh, that documents her spontaneity and her intuition, but also that clarity of process, that clarity of, of planning and control um, you know, in her artistic practice. I congratulate her. I also, you know, in a way, on her behalf, thank the many curators, galleries, um, the many critics, um, collectors who have been part of her journey, some of whom have written beautiful essays uh, that reflect on her work and are captured in this book. So congratulations, Shirin. Uh, congrats to all of you who are here because you've got your hands on a copy of this beautifully designed book as well. I wish you all a fantastic evening and, you know, continue supporting the work of our Singapore artists. Thank you.